No, I, I feel like I grew up kind of like a lot of kiddos thinking, oh, I want to make video games or I, I don't know, I, I think computers are cool. I like technology, but it was more the like, oh, I, I'm playing some cheesy games. Can I make some? Can I explore that sort of thing? Uh, so even through like middle school or high school, I was finding what would have been old school adventure maker. I don't know if folks were familiar with that one. Uh, game maker, yo-yo games way back in the early days. Um, and that was kind of neat. That was cutesy. That was fun to, oh, just have a little platformer a couple squares and pixels moving across the screen. Um, but as I saw, you know, more and more media and just learned a little bit more, I don't know, computer stuff in Hollywood or whatever's in movies, I saw a lot of folks saying, oh, yeah, hacking and, and being a hacker is pretty cool just as well. Uh, so I Googled around, I looked out online and I saw, I think what would have been Eric S. Raymond, one of like the other original leaders and visionaries and a lot of the free and open source software movement. He had a blog. He literally had a post on his website titled how to become a hacker. And I tried to read through it and make some sense of it. And it had said, look, you got to learn a little bit of coding. Like you need to be able to program. You need to be able to oh, at least script and write out software to understand how that thing works. So I originally fell down into the rabbit hole of it. Oh, okay, this is cool. 